guys, this is Steve Darcy with Go Engineer. And today I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about drawing views that are kind of messed up, kind of a little bit skewed, or just not right with the world. And a couple things that you can find out, you know, this guy actually looks pretty good. Um, but if you put a dimension on it, then you'll see you'll get this little thing that says true dimension. Well, in the olden days, what that allowed us to do is on some of these views, let me pick on this view, we have two options, projected or true. And if it's on true, then it allows us to put dimensions on things that aren't actually uh, really there. This is, you know, originally a circle, but because it's projected at an isometric, it's an ellipse. But the uh, software, SolidWorks, is smart enough to say, oh, that's a true dimension, and this is the actual uh, diameter of that circle. So when I look at this guy, you can kind of tell that it says true dimension, so I know that there's something else kind of going on in the background. For the most part, uh, this is not flat. A lot of times I'll use this little test right here to turn on the hidden lines. And if you zoom in enough, you may see that we're a little bit skewed on there. Okay, So uh, two things, the dimensions and the hidden lines will kind of help you figure out whether or not you're, you're right with the world. Now there's a couple things I can do from here. I could try and rotate the view. Maybe it's off five degrees or something like that. And if I do, it's going to rotate all these other ones. Okay, That didn't help me at all. Not a big benefit there. Okay, we'll put them back. Another one that we could do is uh, this one right next to it. We can rotate the view around, try and get it as flat as I can, and then when I hit the OK checkbox, then it will keep those and rotate those as well. Okay, also kind of helpful, but not, not quite that, that good of a deal. I need to get into where these things are more flat with the view, and I need more tools. I gotta go to the part level to do that. So let me go ahead and open up the part. And you'll see what I did. Now, sometimes these may come in as a step file. You may get it from somewhere else. Um, I totally came in, used the flex feature, and screwed this thing up. Okay, You can see it started out, it was originally flat on top, right with the world on the front plane, all good. And then I rotated this thing around, got this thing off, offset a little bit, and did a pretty good job of messing it up. So no matter what I do, if I go to the front views, top views, anything like that, I'm getting an offset on there. So I need to go ahead and uh, I could fix the flex feature. You know, that, of course, can can totally do it. But what I want to do is maybe I got this from another customer or something. And all I want to do is make it work for my drawing, get my job done for today. So a couple things I want to do. I want to look flat at this face. Well, that's easy. You just select it and go normal too. OK, but there's another thing I can do that doesn't orientate me quite the way that I want. As long as I have a face that's 90 degrees off from here, so I'm going to select on that, hold control, pick on this face, and then go normal too. Once you do that, the second face that you selected goes in the upward direction. Okay, That's pretty cool. So then, of course, I can hit the space bar. I'm going to create a view. I'm just going to call this one. Pretty simple. Then I need a view of this guy right here. So same type of thing. I'm going to select on that face, hold control, pick on the top face, go normal to, rotates me, orients me uh, to where I'm straight at that face, hit your space bar, go new view, and I'll call this guy number two. All right, looks good. Got my orientation done. I've got these, these guys the way I want. Let's go back to the drawing. And I'm just going to select on, this is my parent view. So I'm going to set him to number one and everything orients to that. Now I've got some nice flat faces. If I go and try and dimension this guy, you'll notice it's not giving me any kind of true dimension, telling me that I'm offset. I can go straight with the world. Now this guy, of course, is. It'll give me a true dimension off that. So in order to dimension this guy properly, I need to go ahead and create another view. So I can go use the uh, standard model view. I like to drag and drop. So I'm gonna go over to my browser tree. Let's refresh our palette. And this guy is number one. Let's just drag number two in there. Looks pretty good. Uh, maybe move these views around a little bit. Probably want to scale them down. But main point is now I can go ahead and annotate this guy, put some dimensions on it. And he's looking right with the world. So hope this helps you guys on some other drawing views, hoping you getting right with the world. Uh, this is Steve Darcy with Go Engineer. Thanks. Mm -hmm.